alive with the sound of music. Hello, everybody. I am back. Another trip to Tampa on my way to Costco to stock up, even though. ordered stuff online. The minute this thing happened, I said, oh, ordering online because I don't know if the store is going to have anything today. But well, the reason I'm going there is because I get a rebate check from Costco every year. And the stupidest thing is you're not allowed to use it online. It's so ridiculous. I have to drive all the way down there to use that check. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to place my order online because when I get there, I don't know if they're going to have the things that I need. A lot of times I've been going to the store lately and they don't have the things that I need. So online at Costco, as long as you spend $75 and you know, with the prices that we have today, that's simple. You can spend that. I want to be ready for lockdowns. Although I did watch a video this morning from South America because you guys just watch American, but I get a lot of news from South America in Spanish and it's so different from the American news. I mean, they censor so much here. But in reality, the media and the press in South America, they don't, they're not censored. They post things that are happening in Germany. They're posting all of this stuff. I'll tell you what I think. I think that this whole reset mumbo jumbo from Klaus Schwab and all of these elitists that belong to this black rock corporation that controls the whole world. And I linked that um, in one of my videos I think for this weekend and what I think is they stole so much money from the American people they, st they, they can't pay us back now that's why they want to kill people because I saw a video years ago that the Cornerstone Church in Texas posted this was years ago I mean like probably five years six years ago maybe even more and he talked about what would happen when the baby boomers retired, how the system is bankrupt because it's, it's all been a pyramid scheme and there's people that have been stealing money off of this cake. And he showed the numbers, he showed the statistics. I mean, that was one of the best videos I think I've ever saw that he did, Corner Store Church, and showing what's gonna happen. Well, now- At the next stop sign, take a slight right turn. I go back to that video in my brain and I think, this is what it is. They stole the money. They've been stealing the money. They want to continue stealing it because that's what they're providing for their family. And they're going to get caught. They have to move forward now. You know, it's like, you know, you killed somebody by accident or now what do you do with the body? Now the you hide sign, the body, take a right? Slight right? Turn onto Broad Street. And so, and the people around you are helping you hide the body even though they didn't do the killing. They're accomplices to cover up their tracks by doing all of this deceit and all of this stuff and this has been going on for years you know it's a sad bunch these people with these bloodlines seriously they are so evil i watched a video on facebook the other day this guy was talking about how he was involved with one of these families these bloodline families that were also into this satanic cult they're elitist. They're powerful elitist. And he didn't want to be involved with them when he grew up because they totally used him when he was a kid. His own parents would give him for sexual favors to important to other important elitists. Within the year that he talked about this, these groups and what they do is they loan their children out to people that support them that are within this group. I mean, isn't that sick and twisted? Wow, I mean, think about the, the mentality of these people when they do this with their own children. And then, supposedly, they want to continue to steal money to leave a legacy for these children. They're not even interested in, in, in that legacy or anything like this guy. He's like, I don't want that. I don't want that for my future. I don't want that for my children's future. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. He totally left the family. He did not want to have. Now he wrote a book about all of the atrocities that they were doing to him. He's not the only one that I heard this from. I also saw a video. I think it was on Facebook also. And there was a woman that was standing with, um, you know, one of those um, combs. I don't know what the name of it is. I forgot. Right now.
now I can't think what the word is but it was like one of those cones that she was in front of the British Parliament and she was talking to the people out in public about all the things that they did to her also as a child because her family also turned her over to the elitist and one of them I don't remember who it was in the family but it was also in this goes into the parliament into where the queen's castle and all of that is I mean these people are so sick and twisted I mean it's just awful but you can't say things like that nowadays you can't speak up about the truth because you automatically want to censor you whenever you see people getting censored ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something it's because they're speaking truth truth to these people is not a good thing it's not a good thing they do not want you speaking truth at all so anybody that's getting censored well that's what that's what it is because you're talking the truth and they can't handle it because they can't cover it up you know they can't, can't cover it up then you speak something that somebody goes out investigating the facts of those things and before you know it 20 YouTube channels are posting things about I mean I'm surprised there's so many channels out there posting so many things about this cults and Hollywood and all of this stuff and I'm like well there's just so many people out there now posting this kind of stuff how can they keep up with this I don't know if they can I don't know well they might be getting suppressed I mean a channel that has 500,000 subscribers if they get only like 20,000 views that is really not a lot considering it's a 500,000 subscriber channel right so you have to look at the ratios to see what it is you may be getting views but not the amount of views that you should be getting so I just think honestly I'm gonna be honest with you I just think that this is it they're in over their heads I mean that was evident when I saw them uh, us talking about that they're going to um, take away the emergency Canada or whatever it was that they passed the ordinance or mandate or whatever it was they were going to remove it um, they were going to also have a hearing about all of the stuff that happened there and I'm going to be honest with you they they, they provoked this plan they, they schemed it up they thought they were going to be winners let me tell you something they're not winners look at the people rising up I saw another video this morning where they were showing I think it was in Europe. I don't know which, which country in Europe. I think it might have been Great Britain. The police were actually the next light, walking left. with the civilians. Pro, they were heading the protest. They turned against their own um, orders. Wow, 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 wow. Isn't that amazing? And they were showing the footage. I mean, that video is probably going to end up coming down. But these people like Schwab and all of these evil elitists, they think they're going to get away with all of this and they're not. They're going to get caught and they're going to get caught and they're going to go to jail. That's what's happening behind the scenes. The I'm line, pretty sure about it. I'm pretty Jefferson sure Street. that there's people working behind the scenes to get this done and do it effectively because they have to do it with the evidence. They have to let them play their schemes out in order to really catch them in the act because we have to have the video proof we have to have the emails we have to have all of this stuff you know we don't want them out there like look ahead that went ahead and decided to delete like all of these emails from her phone and all of this stuff and then claim like oh she didn't know this or that or whatever seriously like temper that's tampering with the evidence well, they don't want that happening. They got to make sure that they surprise them with the surprise chakar attack. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just telling you out there. I'm pretty convinced that their downfall is coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely coming. Don't be surprised even if Russia is in on all of this too. And he's just taking advantage of the situation to take control of Ukraine. Because man, they are super wicked in Ukraine. Now, I don't want to say nothing because my son is from Romania. And then they're like right next to each other. And I know a lot of the people have the same culture and traditions over there. Like Kazakhstan and all of those countries. But whatever has 
ones over there. You've got to say that they are corrupt over there. And we need to get rid of this corruption in Ukraine because this guy is still milking it for all it is. He's still working with no experience. They hired him to be the chief pocketbook guy over there. The son, you know who I'm talking about. I got I gotta talk like I got like I like I got a band-aid on my mouth. This is this is how difficult this is. Turn right onto Emerson Road. I wasn't I didn't come to this country. My parents didn't leave Cuba so I can talk like I have a band-aid in my mouth. And here I am choking on it. Seriously, choking on the band-aid that's been put in my mouth because I can't say what I want. I can't say the names of the people. I can't say the stuff. And I've got to be driving cautious of what I say. You understand? This is evil. This is pure evil. But they can post all the evil they want in their Hollywood videos and the movie ads that they put on there. Some of the stuff is wicked and perverted. They can do all of those things. But oh can't say something you understand I don't know ladies and gentlemen I I'm gonna be honest with you I'm getting really tired of the whole social media thing if it isn't because of truth social I probably am gonna get off of Facebook because I'm I'm like done with that Facebook thing you know I only did it for my channel I didn't have Facebook until I had my channel and I only opened it for that and I had Twitter. I did get rid of Twitter though last year. And, and then I have Instagram. And Instagram to me is also the same. It's like fruit. It's like fluffy cake. All you see is fluffy cake there. And I don't see real stuff. I don't see good stuff. I mean, I, have a, I follow a couple of Spanish news channels that are patriots and they're talking real stuff. So I do like that because I can get some stuff. And I tried. Uh, what was it? Not Instagram. Oh, Telegram. I think it's Telegram. I have an account there. But there's so much stuff. And there's a lot of people that have infiltrated it as well. So confusing. So many channels. And there's fake channels too. Some people say that they're the Trump channel. Another people say they're Trump Jr. channel. And it's all fake. I'll be honest with you. When this whole thing is done and we start over in the, in the good world, right? Because... I'm pretty sure God is have, has to reset this whole thing. We have let this go too far. We have let evil go too far. And we have to go through these things in order for us to realize and teach our children the importance of standing up for the truth every single time. You can't be lazy about it. You have to speak up. You have to say things. You have to put people down that are contrary to the truth. Okay? You just have to smack them with the truth every single time and the facts because this is where we're at in society. So in my opinion, this whole thing that we're going through is God's plan for us to start a new way through civilization, right? Where these elitists are not the ones that are controlling our television, our movies, our books, even books. I mean, I'm surprised. There's some books that I won't even read. I bought a book called The Wild. I think they did a movie on that book. When I read that book, I mean, it was like 10 bucks. I stopped reading the book because the girl is like, she's having like a midlife crisis, right? Then all of a sudden, she goes out, has an affair, she has an abortion. One sentence in the whole book. And then she's got a screwed up mind throughout the whole book. She's got to go walking in the wild because her mind is screwed up. Well, guess what? That's why you're screwed up because you decided to go out and sleep with a younger guy. I think it was a younger guy. You got pregnant and one sentence you gave to the abortion. Ladies, abortion doesn't take one sentence. If it takes one sentence for you to talk about abortion, you got serious issues. You are not, not well considering that that's a human life. That's gonna take you some time to contemplate, think of, and reflect on. Reflect on your future, your humanity, and the humanity of another human being. So when I read that in the book, I was like, I was done with the book. I'm like, I'm not reading it and I'm not watching the movie. Because seriously, who wrote this? Some kind of a liberal who wrote this? 
and they make it seem like it's okay for you just to have an abortion and go on with your life and then have a messed up brain and it's okay for you to have a messed up brain because you're too stupid to figure it out that what you did five years ago in one sentence of a book is what has you messed up in the first place you understand uh, I tell you, sometimes I, I, I see the world and I just can't believe that we're at this place that we are. But anyway, I really believe that we have to start over. We have to change a lot of things. One of the things that I would change if I was resetting this whole world, let's say, is the internet would have to be a place where you cannot be anonymous. You cannot be anonymous. You're, it's like a social security number. You go out and talk, you say things, you make up stories. We need to know who you are. These fake accounts, BS, this fake account stuff has got to stop. So many people threatening and, 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 and going and saying things and talking up the wazoo with fake accounts. And some people have 20 fake accounts and then they go there and they attack you or they attack whatever it is and it looks to you like it's 20 different people but it's the same person with the same propaganda. I've had people like that and I've had people realize that it's the same person because of the way that they speak, the way that they write. It's the same person and it's one after another one. I mean, this is this is the level of Take the mind. Turn on to Powell Road of these schmucks. You've got to say it the way that it is. Okay? They think they're an army. They think that they're an army and they can go and just attack and you just say whatever they want. Left onto Road. I'm past that in my life. I'm past that. So I'm really hoping that this truth social thing is going to pan out and it's going to grow into a new YouTube and it's going to be like Twitter and it, it could be something really wonderful for the whole world to enjoy and really connect with. Man, can you imagine if the whole world can connect on a loving, redeeming love through the internet? Wow, what a wonderful world this would be, wouldn't it? But instead, you go to Twitter and everybody's hating each other. You can't say something. And if you say something, they come back with insults. All they do is insult you when you when you say something true. All they want to do is insult you. Oh, I have to go in here. Anyway, so I was telling you that. So that's one thing that I would get rid of. I would have to get rid of, like, your online presence is who you are, okay? We have to be sure that people are truthful, okay? If you're going to put out my voting, that's another thing. My political views, my voting, who I vote for, I didn't sign up for that. They decided Florida, all of a sudden, after... They decided to put in 2017, after the presidential election that they were, where Trump won, they decided to make everybody in Florida, their per, their personal electoral information, they put it out in the pub. I talked about that too long ago and I showed you the letter that I had to write to Tallahassee to tell them to take my information down. Because this is the kind of censorship that there is out there. So if they can go out there and say, well, we don't want to give her a loan because we went to her Facebook and she did a post against the local head that's in, that stole the show. You know what I'm saying? We didn't like that post that she did. So they don't have to give you mortgages. They don't have to give you financing for loans. They don't have to sell you a car if they don't want to because your political views are online. So that's when I started making my political views online public because I thought, well, they, and no, and, and the thing is, even if they retract the law, the information's out already. A hundred servers have the information. What's the point? I might as well post whatever the heck I want in public, and that's what I'm doing. You understand? But this is the level of censorship that we're at to the point that for a job interview, your boss go online and see if you're a Democrat or Republican and say, oh no, we don't want we don't want Republicans here. We don't want this here. You see what I'm talking about? That's a level of censorship because you don't get a job, you don't get hired, you don't get to publish your book, you don't get to do a lot of things because they make your information public. They want to hurt you. They want to censor you. That's the thing. The censorship isn't about just putting a band-aid on your mouth. It's letting the world know who you are and that they're not going to tolerate your views in their businesses. They want to dominate the businesses with their thinking, with their level of thinking, just like they're doing with the schools, with the education in the schools. You understand? Uh, what can I say? The world is upside down, but I am confident that God has a plan and in the end we really have to fix this whole mess that these lunatics, these, they're psychotic, they're truly
mentally psychotic, mentally crazy people. I mean, who would give their kid for sexual exploits with another elitist? No wonder they're always getting bribed. Because they do all of these disgusting things and all of this is getting recorded behind the scenes. And then now, you, you you're stuck. Your kids are stuck. Your whole, your whole generation is cursed now when you make a move like that. So... That's one thing that I think that we have to do is really control the internet because the internet is really another world. It's more like a spiritual type of a world. You understand? It's, we're not, it's not in the physical. It's a spiritual world. There has to be laws. There has to be accountability for who you are and what you say. You understand? Like, for instance, I've had people threaten me. They've threatened my life. I save those emails because guess what? If something happens to me, there's going to be some emails in my box that are going to show all of the people that threaten me. You're going to get a call, okay? You might have done it five, ten years ago. They don't care. They're going to call you up and find out why you're threatening me. See, this is the problem because they come on as anonymous. And we can't have that in society nowadays. We can't have people just running around with anonymous anymore. It just does not work. It just, it's... It, it's, it makes for dangerous things for everybody. So the laws have to be enacted for the internet as well. And there has to be control of it. Now, the federal government, we can't give it control either because the federal government is corrupt. So how is this done? This has to be done moderated by public individuals of all different types and maybe a worldwide thing or something like that. I don't know, but let me know in the comments if you don't agree with me about how the internet needs specific laws. I mean, we have to have freedom of speech, which I believe that we do. We should have, I'm not saying to censor the speech, I'm just saying that we should know what the people are saying. We have to know who the real people are, who are they talking, who are they saying, who are these people? You know, because it's not okay for them to have 20 different accounts pretending that they're 20 different people. You know, you don't go out there to a store to buy something and pretend that you're somebody else with somebody else's credit card. That's theft, right? So you shouldn't be allowed to do it either in a spiritual level, my opinion. I don't know. Change my mind in the comments down below so that I can see I'm not going to get insulted I'm not going to hate you I just want to open my mind I love learning I love opening my mind I don't hate anybody actually I love de just debating with people back and forth because I have noticed that a lot of people they start off with a good debate but when you come back with the facts that's when they turn everything they start insulting you they call you names and they start you know, trying to put you down because they don't have any facts. And I realize there's so much of that in this world. There's so many fake wolves out there that are hiding in sheep's clothing. And it's a shame. We have such a wonderful world. We have such a wonderful planet. So many people love and they want to give love and they, and they want to just be happy and content doing what they want to do in this time that they have on this earth. But so many people also are out there. They're bitter and angry and jealous because they were raised in a lot of these bloodline families they were raised with evil they were raised with jealousy they were raised with hate and they were physically hurt and they hurt also inside and i feel for them and if you're one of those people and are watching this video i really hope that in your heart you realize that you can come out of that you can be happy because god is there waiting for you with a redeeming love that you will never experience in this world. The world cannot offer it to you. You can only receive it through Christ because there was a plan. It was made for all of us. And for those that receive it, joy and contentment will be yours because you're going to know who you are connected to in the spirit. So with that said, I thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. I love reading them and I love learning new things and I love learning new perspectives on things. But I will be cautioning you that if you come here with lies and deceit and you think that you're going to convince me to become a communist or convince me of communist ideology, 
got something coming because that ain't ever going to happen with me. So I thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. The Sound of Music is signing out. Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. The hills are alive.